Hello and welcome to another Angels for First Day of Blog. This is a continuation of the tutorial, part three. And oh, my kitty's come say hello. Well, my kitty. And um, I've corrected all the problems that I incurred in the last tutorial, as well as made a few changes to the map. And that changes, I've blocked off the ship interior areas because we we'll want to try and give a sense of. of the ship internal areas being an integral part of the space vehicles rather than completely different scale maps. So, I want to isolate them. Uh, one of the ways of uh, giving immersion to players that we've got is the window actors. Uh, I've placed this window actor, they're a little fiddly to set up and I had to toy with the settings a bit. I use one of my custom meshes. This is a ship window actor. It's just a big screen and we link a camera to a render to texture and we link the camera to the spaceship bone on the spaceship, socket on the spaceship, and it projects the texture. And I'll just go through a few settings. Window scale, I've set this to 0 0.2. This determines the size of the window so that the camera can be moved around. It's a great effect. It actually gives a, a sense of moving around the room relative to very close up parts of the ship. You'll see that in action. The window socket, which is bridge window, uh, everything else is default here, down to mesh rotation offset, which I've had to tweak with. Um, you can copy and paste stuff from the existing map, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about this complicated setup. The mesh itself, I've also had to invert along the uh, x-axis. But the upshot of this is, and we don't even need to enter the game, we can already see it working, although the map will pop up in a second. Okay, just get rid of that. This is a projection, and as you can see, not only is it projecting from the camera but it's moving the camera around relative to where the projection actor is so we get a pretty awesome seamless projection out of the windows which ends roughly there we can we can move it around and toy with it if we keep moving the projection keeps going oh it's quite weird you can almost fly over the surface of your ship out of the window very trippy stuff so that's how you do ship windows, and the best way to show these in action is to run it and add a few bots, and I corrected the problem. The problem was that I hadn't rebuilt the paths, uh, rebuilt the volumes rather. You have to use the rebuild geometry to rebuild volumes, then rebuild lighting. What are rebuilding? The bigger computer that you have, the better. So I'm going to run it now, and last check, it worked for me. Join the Ranger Frigate. And squads six. Hey, you guys. So I'll speed them up a bit, and uh, they've leapt over there to get into the seat. But he's driving over there. If you can see that, we should begin to see him maneuvering around out of the window. Here it goes. So that's giving a pretty good impression now of this box being part of that spaceship. So I wonder what he's doing out there. Let's get him off the turrets and have a look. Ah, he's orienting himself to the board side of the cons frigate there. Oh, shoot at it too, because shooting at it is cool. Oh no! Oh, it's taking all our shields down. But this view now coincides with this view, and we get a wonderful sense of impression. I'm just going to take over these spaceships so we can see some action out of the window. Speed it up. Okay, so if I get out of the ship now, what we should be seeing... Oh, down a bit further. Where's the hell? There it is. Yes, I'll change cameras to get a good view. Now I'll get out of the ship. So out of the window. Uh, he was shooting at us. It's absolutely high. I don't know if you can see as well, every so often the camera kind of twitches. That's part of the immersion, um, that's camera shake effects being input to the ship internal zone from actual damage being incurred on the ship vehicle. So, let's add some more bots and get in the fighters.
so that's now working quite nicely. I get a feeling we didn't get fighters because I didn't assign any destroy ship objectives. I will do so now. Let's try this. Ship, 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 destroy ship objective. I got add one here. Now it doesn't really matter where these are positioned so long as they're inside the ship internal zone. ground at all. Um, I think they get their links from the shipping tunnels over to you know what? Just you know, I've got it here. Description kill the ranger. Initially enabled yes. Initial team zero USN yes it's Ranger it's a USN ship. Do, 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 do. We captured time limit we won't capture. Oh no, it's not captured yet. It's not ours. Then we have to rebuild the parts. And that should be good to go now. So the map. Now I'm not gonna join, I'm just gonna add lots of parts. 12 squares. Some are getting your fighters. Nothing works on this ship. Oh, this no, we don't. No. I wonder if the ship just got killed. I think it did, which is why nothing worked. Oh dear. I'll run it again. Change team. The ships have very low health at the moment because we're testing. So I'm spawning on the comms. Well for your emperor. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so again, we've got to go check the cons for a bit. Where are we? Cons. Skeletal meshes. Look at the SHP cons. There we go. What is the socket called? Bay. Right. The socket is called Bay. So, in the map. Spawners. Socket, socket, socket. Ah, it's called Bay 1. That's why it didn't work. So, once again, have a run. Change team. Board the cons. Fight well for your Emperor. Bots. I have the socket. Before we get into the front This is my guys. There they are. Speed. This guy is going to get into a fighter, and that seems to be good.
think that's a good point to bring this tutorial to an end. Rangers fall first, fight in space, if you can.